Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, my name is Megan. Welcome to this past romance. Um, I have to come up with a new opening. I stole Tamika's. <laughs> I feel bad about it. So I have to come up with a new one. Um, pulling out the iPad uh, because today's video is my mid month wrap up. Um, the, my one DNF so far this month is The President's Assistant by Mia Fey. I was so excited for this book. And if you watched my TBR, you know that I was so excited for this book. I have a political science degree from a state college here in Kentucky. I, I live. My favorite show is The West Wing, Parks and Rec. I am a Leslie Nope from Parks and Rec. My dad hates it because my dad thinks he's Ron Swanson. My dad's not Ron Swanson. But, I'm sorry. I'm trying to fix you guys. Okay. But, um, I, I love, I love politics for whatever reason. I couldn't tell you. Um, so I decided I would read The President's Assistant by Mia Fey. This book, Mia Fey, I'm so sorry if you ever see this. I'm sure your other books are wonderful. This book is hot garbage. Hot the garbage. I know there's consent and non-consent, but then there is just straight up workplace sexual harassment. You cannot look at somebody during their interview and tell them that they have nice tits and then sleep with them. That's not okay. And not in a political climate. Not when you're trying to run for president. It's a big deal. So he gave her a job, gets her pregnant, and then forces her, essentially, to marry him. It, it was a lot. So, I made it. I didn't have to, like, 40-some percent through. Like, it was just, it was just not okay. It was just not good. I did not like it. And I actually read it. Like, got it on my iPad. I read it. No, the other book that I haven't finished, I'm 81% of the way through, but I want to actually, again, I just want to actually read it. I want to read the ending because I got to the point where I got really anxious. My anxiety has been awful lately. Crazy Stupid Bromance. Um, it's, I'm not DNF, DNFing it, it's just not finished. I'm 81% of the way through the audiobook. I got to like the, the climax of the story and I could not handle listening to the next portion because I knew how I knew how it was gonna go because I love that these have a formula um I love that I love that I'm not anxious about it I know how it's gonna go I know what I know pretty well what's gonna happen next just because of the way uh Lisa K Adams does these and I love that about these books don't ever think that that's me not liking it I just got really anxious and I couldn't finish it that way so those are my two books. One is DNF. One is just not finished. It will be finished in the next couple days. I've got big plans this weekend. And by big plans, this could be me and two other people watching a fight. If you've not seen my vlog, it'll be in the cards um, on one of these two sides. I don't know. It flips. Um, but I will... Um, you can watch me watch a fight. Uh, so now we're talking about the books that I actually did finish this month starting with the first day of january where i finished the necromancer's bride by brianna hale listen tamika gets me into the weirdest things and this book this is one of the weirdest books i've ever read in my entire life and i read it because her and izzy were talking about it and they talked about leeches and I was curious about how leeches were used. And I asked Tamika on FaceTime. So I think maybe Izzy had it in a video or something and I was watching Izzy's video. I don't remember. Izzy is Izzy from Happy For Now. If for whatever reason you don't know her. <laughs> um, and I was like, Tamika, why do they use leeches? And she was like, I don't really remember. I don't know how you can't remember because I will never forget. I will never forget how this man used the leech. And honestly, little uncomfortable. 
Um, it was a lot. It was really weird. Um, so that's that on that. Uh, I'm gonna give, like, official ratings and, like, a <laughs> ranking at the end of the month. But just know that for right now, that book is a lot. So if you want to read a Brianna Hill, I don't recommend starting with that one. I recommend that one being, like, at the at the bottom of you reading her backlist. I do recommend The Black Fox. Peep the Night Mountain Dew. I almost always have one of these in my hands. My water bottle's in the back. Yeah, it's back there. I can't reach it or I'll show it to you. I have a water bottle in the back. Uh, the second book I, li I listened to, this one on audiobook, I did read The Necromancer's Bride, but I listened to The Perfect Comeback by Casey Shea. This book is in the running for my favorite of the month. For sure. Um, I did actually listen to this one on Scribd. I think it's a Scribd exclusive. This book is about a former UFC fighter. And this is the first UFC book that I've read and actually enjoyed. Because some of it was inaccurate. Don't get me wrong. Let me see. I did I did do a review. I've been trying to do better about doing reviews. Um, I did do a review on this one. But, when I tell you, she got, she got it good. I mean it. Why are these people parking over here? I parked here because no one's supposed to park here. I mean, like, it's just not, it's not a super busy place. So, um, the heck, where is my review of this book? So, basically, the guy in the book whose name I cannot for the life of me remember, and I don't have my planner. It's in my planner. I think his name was Matt. Maybe it was my app. I got new glasses and I'm still adjusting. My eyes are... We're adjusting. Um, he meets this girl. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I remember about. He meets a girl. Um, I don't remember how they meet. But he offers her self-defense lessons. In exchange for her updating his thing his um his website she is like a web designer so she starts taking self-defense classes and does like all this work <laughs> and he's got a fighter who gets a fight and they're trying to get a ufc contract and like they got really close to getting it right it's it's a little harder than they made it seem in the book i think to get a contract for most people some some people it's easy some people it's harder there are different avenues you can go but the way they made it sound in this book, it was super easy. And she goes to one of his fights. He's coaching. He's not fighting. She goes to a fight that he's coaching. And he stands her up. For what they're supposed to do after. We're supposed to go to a Halloween party after. When I tell you that this woman had the audacity. And I say had the audacity in the sense that this is my dream life. Not, I mean, like, would I be opposed to being married to a, a couple different UFC people? No, because I all think I think they're all really good, really good guys. I don't root for anyone that I think is a bad person. That I think is a bad guy that has any evidence of being a bad person. Um, so like Conor McGregor, I can't stand him. I don't want to go on that rant on a book too, where nobody cares. But, um. She has the audacity. And I was so upset because this is my dream life. She was like, I don't think I want to go to Vegas every every weekend to watch a fight. If you know me in any capacity outside of BookTube, that's my dream life. I would die to do that. I would love to go to every UFC fight. But that's not my life. So... Anyway, this book got a 5 out of 5 for me. It's got a 3 point something, I don't know, on Goodreads. Like a 3.9 or something. I gave it a better rating than that. Because I enjoyed it, but I enjoyed it for different reasons than most. I don't want this to go on too long. Then I read Chasing Jason by Wendy Darumple. 
And if that is incorrect, I will correct that at the end of the month. Um, it was a novella on Scribd. Also, I finished it. Um, it was a, it was about a girl whose parents owned a shop, owned a print shop called Copycats. They were very hippy dippy people. I'm losing my lighting. That's, there it goes. Well, that's not any better. Um, they own a copy, a copy, like paper making copies, copy shop, and they left it to her while they traveled the world for a couple, or traveled the United States in an RV for a couple years. She ends up, there's a guy down the street that owns like a thrifty bookstore, and he keeps trying to convince her to do, like read these books and stuff. And they're in love, but she, they're, he's in love with her, she's in love with him, no one will say anything. And he is from Canada, but he's Muslim. And that's important because his parents are trying to set him up with an arranged marriage. He doesn't want to do it. And he wants to marry her. So she ends up going, she has a big crush on this motivational speaker named Jason something. I don't remember Jason's last name. Jason tries to con her out of like $600. And it's just a big mess. And she realizes she's in love with him. She goes to his shop. He's gone. They have a big fight over Jason. Uh, she goes to his shop. He's gone. His only employee is there. She's like, yeah, he's, he's gone to Canada for like three weeks. I don't know what to tell you. And she tells her all this stuff. The girl whose name I can't remember tells her all this stuff. And she's like, well, you need to tell him that. Because, like, he's, he's going to tell his parents, like, set me up. <laughs> Let's do this. Like, I'm ready. Let's just do it your way. And she's like, no, he can't do that. Well, he shows back up and he's got her reading. He's he's given her these different books to read and he's got them all set up in this Valentine's Day display. And one of the romance books that he gives her to read, which I don't think is actually a romance book, and they mispronounced it in the audiobook, which bothered me greatly, um, was Anna Karenina. But they called it Air Air uh they called it Anna Kernan or something. It was really weird and I didn't like it and I was like, this is strange. Had a happily ever after. I'm not going to ruin it. I'm not going to tell you what else happens. Um, they also mispronounced Gatlinburg, Tennessee. They call it Gatlingburg. They put an extra G in it. It is G-A-T-L-I-N B-U-R-G Gatlin. Not Gatling. But that's, you know, I go, I've been there a bazillion times. So I know that. Then I listened to Back in the Game by Megan Quinn. It was uh, in the Dating by Numbers series. It's book 2.5. I've not read any of the other books. It was a novella. Obviously, it's 2.5. Um, had a meet cute. He is a single dad. Her, the His kid's mom left. He doesn't really date. Was very seamy. Like, 9 out of 10 on the steamy scenes, Megan Quinn, like, its only downfall really was that it was short and insta-lovey, and for whatever reason in this book, I don't have a problem with insta-love, but for whatever reason in this book, insta-love just didn't, it didn't work for me. Um, I'll get, like I said, I'll give official ratings and stuff at the end of the month, um, but it was good. I listened to that one on Hoopla. Then I listened to a book that I've been dying to listen to. I listened to it the same day. I listened to Wrong Bed, Right Guy by Katie Robert. Whoo, Katie Robert. <laughs> she knocked this one out of the park. Um, the girl whose name I also can't remember decides she's going to sleep with her boss and goes to, he owns, she's like an art curator at a museum and her boss um, owns the museum. She decides one night that she is going to just get in bed with him. And they're just going to do it. They're just going to have sex. It's just what's going to happen. And what ends up happening is she sneaks in there to get in his bed. And what she doesn't know is that his older brother is in town. And since his older brother's in town, his older brother's in the bed. So they start fooling around. Uh, he pleasures her. 
And then he says something to her, and she realizes it's the wrong person. Um, so she won't speak to him. It's awful. It was just bad. Um, I mean, no, not the book wasn't bad. The book was great. Like, the situation was bad. Um, they end up, like, he ends up going on dates with her and stuff, like, taking her out. And it's, it ends, has a happy ending. It's really cute. Um, I also listened to Chasing Mrs. Wright, which is the second book in that series. It's the Come Undone series by Katie Robert. I don't remember if I said that. It follows her brother, um, in that series. And her best friend, her brother and her best friend. It was also really good. I like the first book better than the second book. That's all I can tell you on it. Like, he meets her best friend and they don't know. She doesn't realize that it's her brother. He doesn't realize that it's her, it's his sister's best friend. And one of them, I don't remember which one, one of them realizes it before the other and never says anything. So, it was good. It was a little weird. It was a little backward. Um, But the way the sister handled it was great. And I liked it. I liked the first one better though. Um, yeah. So, that takes us up to January 7th or 8th. And, um, it is now January 20th. I've not read a book in 12 days. Outside of my school stuff. This week I have a paper due and then I have a project due in two weeks. So, I'm getting ready to get back in the swing of it. I have a big, big fight this weekend, so I'm going to get all that done. I'm probably going to read some this weekend. I'm actually getting ready to go to the store. I've got to go get some stuff. Um, but I wanted to pull over and film this because I've not filmed a video. I've tried to film, like, multiple vlogs, and they always fall through. So, I'm like, oh, I don't have anything going on, but, like, I do kickboxing on Saturday mornings. Like, super early, and I'm like, I've got all day to do this stuff. And the last two weekends, my parents have come down. <laughs> Um, and so that takes away from my reading time because they're here all day and we go, like, we'll get food and we'll eat and, like, um, we have a Target down here. My parents don't have a Target where I'm from. So, like, we'll go to Target with our masks and our sanitizer and all that stuff. Like, we, we take the precautions. We stay six feet apart from everybody. But, I'm so sorry I'm rubbing my nose. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to try to be better about this in the next couple of weeks. I've made some big improvements. My mental health is doing much better. So yeah, um, that's all for me for today. Um, I want to tell you guys to keep reading like I want to try to make my outro, but um, I haven't been reading so I can't tell you that. So have a good day. Mental health is important. Never forget it. Um, always make sure you're taking care of yourself. You can't pour from an empty cup. You can't help someone else if you are not taken care of. And I like to take care of people. So with all that being said, guys, until next time, just be healthy. Be as healthy as you can be. Bye.